Welcome to the toolbox. This video contains extra resources for you to explore and to use on top of the training. We are going to talk about the Krita community, two useful programs and two channels to learn art fundamentals. Let us first talk about the Krita community. The first web page you should bookmark is the manual. You can access it from Krita by pressing the F1 key on your keyboard. It contains technical information about Krita's tools and their functionality. It is not complete right now, but it contains a lot of resources. To use the manual, just check the name of the function you want to learn more about in Krita, and then head to the manual page and press Ctrl F to search the web page. That's the easiest way to find the entry you are looking for. Otherwise, you have a list of functions and tools on the page summary. Scott, who is responsible for the Krita website, has written a book that I warmly recommend if you can afford it. It replaces the online manual well, for those of you who, like me, prefer to use physical support. I have it here, and I've used it a lot to prepare the training. It is well structured, and it approaches all of Krita 2.9's most important features. On top of the manual and the book, there's an IRC channel where you can meet the Krita developers, contributors, and experienced users to share insights with. You can access it from your favorite IRC client on the Freenode server in the hashtag Krita channel. I use HexChat here, an open source client application. You can also access the IRC channel from the official website. You just have to click on Get Involved at the top of the screen in the menu bar, and then scroll down to Communication. You will find a link to the chat room. On the IRC page, you just have to choose a nickname and you can get started. There is also the Facebook group we manage with Sasha Gundel called Game Art Quest. This one is not a place where everyone can post their question, it is a study group. We all do the same game art exercise every week and give one another constructive feedback. I've also prepared two more groups on Facebook and on Google+, respectively. Those are places where you can come and meet other developers from the GDQuest community. You can come to ask questions, to chat with others. Uh, they are meant to be spam-free, to prevent self-promotion, so that questions and healthy discussions have maximum visibility. The groups revolve around open source applications, although non-exclusively, just like the channel itself. That's it for the community part. Next up are two applications I want to share with you. I'll be using them in the course. These are Picasa and PureRef. Both are free, but Picasa is not available on Linux. Picasa is a simple tool to manage your pictures. It is available on Windows and on Mac. With it, you can search through your library, write metadata to help with image search, and arrange your files into virtual albums. I use it because it's really fast and it does everything I need. It has been deprecated by Google recently, but it can still be downloaded and used for free. The other application I want to talk about is PureRef. This one is really awesome. It is a virtual canvas where you can compile and annotate reference pictures. You can keep them floating over Krita while you are painting. This one is available on Windows, Mac and Linux and it's really, really cool. The links are both on the course page and in the video description. And you will find two companion videos to give you a quick look at those two apps. Last but not least, let's talk about other free courses I recommend online to complement this one. There are two channels I urge you to check out and to bookmark. Proco and Control Paint. Proco teaches human proportions and anatomy, as well as traditional drawing techniques. It is a great YouTube channel to learn more about the human body. Control Paint, on the other hand, is all about teaching you digital art, drawing and painting techniques pretty much from scratch and for free. With Game Art Quest, I'm covering concepts that aren't on those two websites. At times, my courses will overlap a little bit with what you can find there. But overall, I'm doing my best to offer you something that you can't find anywhere else, as far as the content is concerned. 
I have a lot of respect for both Proco and Matcall's work. I used both of these resources to learn myself, so I really, really recommend them. That's it for this toolbox. Be sure to check out some of the resources I linked to you, and I really recommend that you use multiple sources of information. Different teachers have different philosophies and different techniques they can share with you, so it's really important to use multiple channels of information. 